right, we're checking out the only game where putting me up against your troll comments makes me want to turn off the comment section. It's GTA. Troll challenge number one. We need a challenge with no breaks. All speed all the way. Ah, what a glorious host of mobile coffins I get to drive today. Old school. Spelled totally correctly. I have 69 seconds to complete the challenge. How long does it take for the challenge to stay? Okay, there it goes. Full acceleration! All right. Okay, so you gotta go around a couple of turns. No big deal. Then you have to go around a big turn. I'm probably going to die now. Yep. So I need a vehicle that can take these turns incredibly well, but also is fast. I wanna try this one more time, just to make sure that there's not something I can do to do this a little bit better. It looks like there's a giant U-turn over there as well that I'm going to have to get to. I could probably even wall ride this <laughs> and do it that way. Oh, this is an absolute mess. Oh, how long is this challenge too? Cause I can see it continues to go pretty far in the distance. Oh, there goes the door getting vomited off the car. All right, check it out. This vehicle right here is known for being the underturning king. We're gonna need turn radiuses. Where we're going. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. Just gotta keep that back end of the car on the old pavement, no big deal. All right, slightly big deal, full 180, that is a problem. I almost want the car to be fishtailing the whole time because it slows down. Yeah, see, if you can do like a full turn like that, you can get to the point where you reset the speed of the car, which gives me, you know, some chance at actually completing this board instead of reaching full speed all the time, man. All right, I need something in the middle, like the Goldilocks of cars. You're the Goldilocks of cars. Fast. Oh, I love the taste of violent life ending speed in the morning. Okay. Uh, yeah, feels good. Here we go. Oh yeah, plenty. This is, this is the correct turning. Well, maybe not. I was gonna say this is the correct turning that can keep me alive. I was vastly mistaken. Ow. Okay, this is right here. This is kind of, oh my God. So we're gonna go outside to inside, outside to, ah, I needed to be more to the outside. It's tough because you need to enter the turns from the outside and kind of pull to the inside. What am I saying? There's, there's no strategy here. My strategy is survive. I will- God! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I couldn't reach. Okay. This is the obvious choice. It's gotta be, right? Because it just has awesome downforce, hugs the road insanely. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was I thinking? I thought to myself, you know, you have to do it in 69 seconds, so we're gonna need something with incredible speed. Honestly, the speed means absolutely nothing if I can't get- Oh, my God. Oh, if I can't get through these challenges. Well, the wheel stayed on the car. That's good. All right, so we... What was that? What was that? Did I just get bombed? Was that a proximity mine? Okay, check it out. Here's the idea. My plan isn't to try and tank the proximity mines. My plan is to dodge the proximity mines. And I think I can do it with this because this thing's turning is absurd. So it's, oh, if I can get past that turn, that one's gonna be tough. This thing better not have met its match with this turn. Go way outside. Oh! <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, oh, this hot. Oh, this hot. No! So it can get to this point. I just have no idea how I'm gonna try and hug the road all the way down. Come on, Shotaro. You can do it. I believe in you. I don't believe so much in myself, but I, if I pick, oh God. But my plan is if my belief is put in the right vehicle, I will not be disappointed. Check out, man. So that turn is ultra hard. You get no room for error. Okay, this is it. It's the death corner. So we're gonna go ultra wide. Now we're gonna pull it in. I think we got it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, th this is the key. Right here, all day, every day, big dodge. Just keep dodging on one side. 
There we go. And you. Well. Guess the course isn't over. You have to go through all these different barriers, too? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Please tell me you left the jump in this car. Survey says, hey, jackpot. All right, well, hold on. Did he put an invisible wall? He did. <laughs> Call me curious, but I really need to see if he went and put, okay, fair enough, he did. He put invisible walls around the entire track. We're doing it for real. Now, the only problem here is that the full speed on this thing uh, it's not great. I mean, I can stay on the roadway. That's fine. I can probably even get past the proximity mines. I have no idea. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. There we go. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to beat this in 69 seconds, though. So, easy dodge around the slalom. No problem. So, now we have proximity mines. Uh, huh. Oh, there we go. Okay, now they're blowing up. I was gonna say, the one proximity mine didn't even blow up. So we can go over the props, blast through the other props, a big Is it, what is this? Zach inserts a bunch of Sherp comments here. Oh, and by the way, it's not timed. You lied to me. Why would you, oh, I guess it is a troll challenge. Oh my God, Sherp, it is your day to shine. It's only taken like three years. Oh, we're gonna. We're gonna Sherpy. <laughs> We're gonna one time this. When the game says full acceleration, what it basically means is a leisurely walk. <laughs> That's about the full speed of the Sherp. Ah, yes. Nothing quite like going 30 miles an hour on the highway and driving everyone around you completely insane. It's so easy to make these turns when you're barely going a. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I kind of understeered there. What I was going to say is when you're barely... Oh my God, it's kind of hard to make this. Hold on, I need, to, I need to peel this thing around here. Otherwise, I'm going to go flying off. Oh God. Ugh. So there is a fortunate part of this ridiculousness in that if we're not trying to beat the clock, then me just grinding against the wall here isn't going to kill me. It, I have to find a way to waggle this thing off of this wall somehow, though. If you're seeing this right now, I did not find a way to waggle this thing off of the wall. All right, hit the corner. Doing good. Yes. Sweet. What you can do is you can kind of, like, turn constantly. And again, like, fishtail the back out. How does this thing do with the proximity mines? Oh, my God. Oh, it can tank them. Uh, the only issue is... <laughs> ah! The proximity mines kind of throw it all over the place. It's really weird because it's like this thing weighs absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. Through the water barrels. No problem. Through the wood palace. Through the wood fence. Oh, sure. After, after so much time you've been with me and you have let me down repeatedly... But now, your ability to simply float upon the water is the biggest boon. Look at us go. Up the hill. And is there anything weird that I have to do? Or what is this? This teleporter? Uh. Oh. I got there. Well, it turned off the, the full acceleration. What do you have to do now? Get inside the pink Jeep. All right, here we go. Oh, checkpoint. That's weird. The reason I say is because you'd figure he would put the checkpoint at the end of... Be mindful of a flyby. Uh... Oh! <laughs> okay. Good try, Alex. <laughs> anyway, and we're gonna get a checkpoint. Huh? Checkpoint. <laughs> what is this? Uh, what? I'd like to see Alex do my sick little trick of having checkpoint run away from Gray. <laughs> <You're... laughs> no. Is there really no way to get the checkpoint? <laughs> no! <laughs> the checkpoint. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> okay, this, this is fine. This is fine. Do you know how many times I've had to find stupid ways of beating these boards? I'm sure there's got to be something that I can climb. Maybe there's like a invisible block, like one of these circles, right? Like maybe it hits the circle 
And then there's a ramp. What are these circles here for? They're not even slowdown sticks. I thought maybe they were slowdown sticks or something. They're not teleporters. They don't do anything. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? And... Oh, what is... Even if I use the hydraulics, I can't climb it. What is happening? Do I have to come in from the top somehow or something? All right, maybe it's one of the unfilled in circles, like one of these. So if you notice, there's filled in circles. God, it's like, it's like on a basketball or something. I'm gonna touch every single circle to see if there's a teleporter. <laughs> okay, here, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'll bet what you do is you get out of the car and, oh, it moves away from you as a person. What is, what is this? Oh, you can climb it. There we go. <laughs> we, no. <laughs> There's a teleporter field surrounding it. What is it supposed to do? <laughs> Maybe I'll throw it off and then and like land on it when it's falling or something. All right, I have an idea. Check this out. The way this plane is programmed, the biplane, is it, he has it fly and then it does a flyby every time the board starts. And that's on purpose, it has to be. Because it lands directly on the floor. I think what I need to do is hijack this guy's plane and then fly through the checkpoint. So here we go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait and we're just gonna kinda create like a little barrier here. Okay, that was a little bit too much of a barrier. I love that the license plate on this thing says, have fun. I am not having fun. I'm gonna do like a pit maneuver on this thing. So I'm not gonna slam into it. We're kinda, we're gonna kinda get in the way and then just like drive it off the road. So here, here, here. Nice and slow, 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 slow. Man! I'm gonna have to kill that guy. Perfect, okay. And now murder him. Die. God, where's his head? Come on. Well, that was a good stop. Hey, Grace still plays. I need, I, this is official Grace still plays business. Get out of the plane. For some reason, I couldn't pull him out of the car or out of the, out of the plane, I should say, while he was alive. Ooh. So I had to kill him. Wasn't my fault. Didn't have a choice. Sorry, good sir. You have to die for the progression. All right. So nice takeoff, get a little air. If he put invisible walls on the air portion of the checkpoint, I'm truly screwed. I don't have another idea after this. And we have a checkpoint, yeah, all right. <laughs> that was legit, it worked out okay, I'm so happy. Attach a checkpoint to a windmill's blades, plus 20 more. 20 more what? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Stop telling me to have fun. First things first, I assume we have to jump. It doesn't appear to be timed. So we're gonna have to jump, dodge the windmill. Oh my god, it's all windmill jumps. Hold on, I gotta move this plane because I want the most possible run up I can get out of the way. So a big jump. Ow. I said a big jump. There we go. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's the first one. Oh, they're all numbered too. I guess he wants to make sure you get your 20 windmills. All right. So two. Oh man. I think you need to keep going. I don't know if I can get enough speed. All right. So a little bit of curb boosting, big jump. Man, I am unreasonably good at hitting this very first windmill. Okay. Windmill number one. Windmill number two. Hot. Okay. Windmill number three, big jump. I can't believe I dodged that. So now we have four, five, oh yeah, hot. Oh, there goes my bumper. Sticks the landing, no big deal. My bumper sacrificed itself so that we can continue to survive. The only problem is I'm in a minefield of blades. They're everywhere. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Go all the way back, maximum speed, big run up. Oh my God! I missed the platform. Well, this is awful. Thanks, oh my God, buddy, for your suggestion. Super happy about it, super happy. Nice, okay, just, just punch it, go. Go, 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 don't look. I don't know how many we're at, there's nine. Big jump. Oh my God, it shaves you apart. My hood. This is unbelievably evil. 
that's gonna be ridiculously difficult to get past because it covers the entire, like, horizontal plane of entry. Why you do this? Tell me why. Oh. Okay, big jump, I'm dead. I said a big jump made it. Turn, land, run, live, big jump. Okay, this is a good run, here we go, here we go. So now, go, 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 a little bit curb boosting. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh my God, how long is this? We're rolling it, we're rolling it. We're not rolling it. We are reaching the upper atmosphere. Ah, ugh. Not gonna lie, your challenge is unbelievably dip. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah. What I found is that instead of doing full speed through this, Duh. If you stop after you originally land on this platform, it's a little bit easier. There we go. Nice to get your timing on. I'm just gonna jump this and hope you're supposed to. Okay, let's have the run down here because we're gonna lose a lot of speed going uphill. So let's peel all the way back. I'm not doing this again. I don't know if I can get there. I don't know if I can get to this point a second time. I'll be real. Okay, so go, 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 go. I don't even know if I'm timing this correctly. Big jump. Ah! Woo! Uh, <laughs> yes. Big jump. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, we're just gonna go. We're just, I'm not gonna stop. We're gonna go. Go, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God, you've got a thumbnail between two different windmills. There's a double coming up. Hold on, we're stopping. <laughs> I'm gonna lose way too much speed if I keep going. This is gonna take full concentration here. Big jump, 15, we're on 15. Just go, just go, 16. Oh, please God, no, yes. Come on, 17, the doors are open, stop. Okay, we're gonna go back to the top. Oh my God, that is a swirly thing right there. Oh, they're spinning. They're just full out spinning. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Or am I? And we have a checkpoint. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me believed that that checkpoint was fake. The windmill on the bottom there is moving very quickly. So you really have to time this almost perfectly. That was good timing. Oh, that's good timing. That's good timing. Okay, so now we have to time getting the finish line. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, so it takes about five seconds for a full rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Almost. One, two, three. Here we go. Four, five. Yeah. Oh, what? Invisible teleporter right before the finish that leads to a secret challenge. Max Payne! You lied to me. I had everything and then you took it away. Do I stay inside the car? So this is not over yet. I was hoping that the agony was about to end. I was sorely mistaken. There's an arrow. Uh, oh, I see something down there. I see another finish line down there. Now the question is, is that a real finish line or am I being lied to again? And the only way I'm gonna know is to get it. Here we go. Ah, I'm gonna hit the bottom. Ow. Oh God, hold on, we can fix this. We can fix this. We're fine. We're not fine. I'm gonna ragdoll all the way to the ground. Ow. Okay, so fortunately the fake finish line did act like a checkpoint. So we do at least get to start from there. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So it looks like there's one wind turbine in the way. That's not too bad. I'm expecting maybe like a, an invisible wind turbine or something. A random helicopter. A bunch of random helicopters. That's not too bad. What? Have... What? I don't see an invisible wall. Gray still plays 20. That's me! You can't use my own comment against me! <laughs> what did you put an invisible wall in this entire area? <laughs> you can't. Oh my god, it's everywhere! <laughs> is it really in the whole area? It is. Wall. Wall. How high does this go? How far does this go? Right here. Okay, so that's where the invisible floor starts. And oh my God, it's everywhere. It's just a gigantic plate of wall. Okay, how about the helicopters? Are they holding the wall? Is that what this is? All right, I learned something horrifying. The helicopters are invincible. 
So it's not about blowing up the helicopters. There's some other trick. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go super high, okay? I'm talking like way over the checkpoint. Okay, yeah, look. Look, in, look behind the checkpoint. Oh my God, the wall goes all the way up here. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, what I was gonna tell you is behind the end, there's a giant road, maximum height. Okay, I am insanely high right now. There, you have to, it has to be. You have to go over the wall, I'm assuming. Yeah, did I do it? Am I over it? Oh, oh here we go, here we go. No, what happened? Ah! 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 All right, are you ready? This is, hold on, this is like, hold on. I'm about to do something. Ah! <laughs> Ah! Okay. Do I take the helicopter? Is that what happens? No. Can I get in the helicopter? I can't get in the helicopter. He's made it so the helicopter is not enterable. It's like locked. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. What it is, I had to shoot around the helicopters for like the last 20 minutes. There's a thumbnail hole right above the yellow helicopter. So what you have to do, all right, that's why it's sitting there. To guide you. You ready? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Right there! There you go! And we have- What is- Why? I've already gotten through it twice! Alex needs to teleport Gray back every time he tries to skydive through an ending that's meant to be driven through. God! God. I was wondering why there was a road behind the checkpoint when I could fly through the thumbnail hole. I got it. We're going to not go for- the end, and we're gonna land on the roadway, all right? So, through the thumbnail hole, oh my God, I hit the edge of the thumbnail hole, hold on. Uh, I don't know if I have enough distance. I don't know if I have the distance. I don't think I do. I don't think I can make it. Oh my God, it's gonna be close. Oh my God, it's gonna be close. I was wrong. I can make it. Oh, there's a ramp. I understand now. You put a car on this road, right? Because <laughs> if I'm running all the way on this quarter mile and there's no vehicle, I'm screwed anyway. <laughs> like, there's nothing I can do. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Troll, I know. I've been feeling it for the last two hours. All right, rev it up, pull it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, let's try, let's try a, a less epic run up here. All right, pull it, go, wheelie. And we have a winner! Yes, finally! Well, I got trolled a lot. Now I'm gonna go drown myself in this mud pile. Anyway, folks, we'll just episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.